Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plummy and in this video I'm gonna continue and end my reactions to Pentagon's uh, recent album uh, Universe The Black Hole. In the last video we checked out uh, the songs Camellia, Asteroid, Die For You, Talk and The Black Hole. In this one we're gonna be checking out Worship You, Someday, Zoom Up and Shower of Rain. Uh, I would suggest you check out that video, but if you don't want to for some reason, my overall opinion of the first five songs was that they were pretty good, but overall the album is just not punchy enough, like there isn't one song that really blows me away and strikes me as really good. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be at least one of those being like that, because otherwise I'm gonna be kind of disappointed about this album because yes the songs are not bad but they also they don't blow me away. I guess my expectations might be risen too much because of the last album that I checked that was uh, Dreamcatcher's uh, album which actually had quite a few very punchy songs so I'm kind of expecting the same from this one. But I guess there's only one way to find out so let's get into Worship You in 3, 2, 1 Okay, this one is starting interesting I think it has a possibility of being that punchy song but we'll see Damn, that sounds so good. I genuinely think that might be the case, but I don't want to hype myself too much. I'm definitely liking the sound of it so far. Okay, definitely sounds really good, but I'm still not sure whether it's the punchy song that I was looking for. This one is definitely the best though. Definitely the, the lyrics of this one are really well made uh, to be satisfying to listen to. Some of the sounds here in the chorus are a bit... I don't know what word I would use, generic, filler, like specifically that sound you can hear in the instrumental. It's too, a bit too run of the mill, and usually it's what it's used in uh, some songs which fo have an instrumental chorus. It's just the specific sound that I don't like personally. And by the way, I am going to react to this one uh, again. The way he sings that rem is so reminding me of a certain song but I can't remember it right now. Okay, uh, let's get into it again in three, two, one. God damn it. I'm probably gonna remember the song 
two days from now, but right now I really can't remember which song it is. If you can, if you know what, what song I'm talking about that sounds like this, please comment it down below. Yeah, this one is definitely uh, very punchy with both the vocals and the rapping, so I like it. And even if it's not the explosive song that I wanted to hear in this album, it's close enough for me to count. Apart from the instrumental in the chorus, I don't like that part. I think that's the only criticism for the song I really had. And why it's not gonna be a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Like the focus struck me as particularly good in this one. I love the way they sing it. Uh, this one might be my favorite uh, song out of the album, excluding Tara Chuck Now. I'll definitely be listening to this one. For the other ones, I can't 100% sure that I would, I will, but this one definitely. It's that good. I love how the song, despite being more faster and hard hitting, has certain sad feeling to it. It's kind of awesome. I love it. So, um, as I said, pretty much the only complaint for the song I have is the uh, instrumental during the chorus. Other than that, it's pretty much a perfect song. Uh, it's very punchy, both in the vocals and the rapping. Like, I don't want to repeat myself, but yeah, I really like it. Uh, personally, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10, and although I think that might not be the highest score that I've given a song from the album, for me it might be the best song. It's definitely the hardest hitting one, excluding the title track. Uh, so I really like it because of that. Like, vocals that are done like this, uh, and like songs in which the vocals and the rapping are done like this, I really love, are and they're usually some of my favorite songs. Um, objectively, I don't know. For some reason it feels like an 11 out of 10, but I don't know if I wanna break my score ratings like that. So might as well be a 10 out of 10, I guess. If you want to consider it an 11 out of 10, you can, but yeah, it is a 10 out of 10. It's a really good song. I think most uh, fans would agree that it is probably the best song after the data track. But still, it would depend on your tastes, I guess. But, but it is a good song. Like, I don't know what else to say. So, uh, let's move on to the next song of this video. Uh, that being Someday, which is a duet song by Jin Ho and Hu Huey. I'm gonna call him Huey. Because the other word, uh, the other pronunciation is a very bad word. Well, not very bad word, but it's a... It's, it's an offensive word in my language, so let's get into someday in 3, 
two, one. I don't want to be mean, but I think this is going to be my least favorite song on the album. And that's not going to be because it's bad, though. Because there certainly are good vocalists. It's just because it's slow. Although, I guess it's gonna end up at the same place Camellia ended up in the last video. Because that song sounded really good, but just because it's slow, I'm probably not gonna listen to it. And yeah, the vocals are beautiful. Honestly, I didn't know Pentagon were such good vocalists. Oh my god, that sounds so good. This sounds like an OST song, honestly. Honestly, this song is kind of blowing me away with the vocals. Like, wow. Okay, so, yeah, the song is not bad by any means, in fact, it might be the best song on the album, I don't know, like, for songs like this, it's very hard for me to judge uh, what works and what doesn't, because it's not what I listen to, like, I have not listened to that many songs like this for me to be able to kind of pick apart what I like and what I don't like but to me definitely this sounds like a really good song and people who enjoy this kind of music will probably and actually not probably definitely going to like this one because even I somebody who is not really a fan of slow ballad songs enjoyed this one although admittedly I was a bit bored by it because that's just who I am the vocals were honestly for me at least uh, surprisingly good and as I said in the last one I didn't uh, 
know that uh, Pentagon were such good vocalists. Like, I'm honestly surprised how good vocalists they are. I never imagined them as a vocal heavy group. I don't know why, but that never really came up. I guess because their debut song was very hard hitting, and their other songs were very on the playful side, not really on the vocal heavy side. But yeah, this one was really good. Uh, and as I said, I think it's probably the best song on the album. And that might kind of throw off my scores and rating and everything. But yeah, personally and objectively, I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 because the vocals in this one are beautiful. Even if it's not my thing, it is a really good song. So yeah, uh, let's move on to the next song of this video, that being uh, Zoom Up uh, in 3, 2, one. Okay. Now that I did not expect to hear. Is that Indian sounds? Okay, I kind of like it, but it's definitely a bit of a weird song. I might have to listen to it a second time. Honestly, with how weird uh, and unique it sounds, I think it would have been cool if it was a Yuto and Wosak uh, a duet kind of song, similar to how the last one was by Jinko and Huey. I definitely like how energetic it is. And also the instrumental is interesting, but... I just don't think the song is uh, overall was good. But it definitely gets points for being unique. And I don't know from which country's music these sounds are. I think it's from India, but I'm not 100% sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I like them. It might be Chinese sounds, but again, I'm not sure. Sometimes the sounds of... Uh, Asian countries really get mixed uh, for me. Although most of the time I'd, I'd, say, I'd say I'm able to tell them apart. Okay, uh, that was an interesting case. Uh, the reason why I suggested that it would have been better if it was a Yuto and Wosok uh, sub song, it's because it's kind of hard hitting, but lyrics wise, it doesn't really deliver on that expectation that it's going to be hard hitting. Uh, Mainly because most of the group is vocalists, so of course it can't be all rapping. So that's why I feel like it would have been better if it was a solo rapper songs, uh, song. But still, it's it's also fine as it is, but I think uh, out of all the songs that I've reacted to from this album, this one is the most I wish was exactly what I wanted it to be.
but yeah it's still it's interesting uh, because of the instrumental uh, and because of that I definitely like it but I don't know I honestly don't know exactly how to feel there are reasons why I like it and reasons why I don't like it mainly because I wish it I think it could have been better so yeah I guess I'm gonna give this one an 8.1 out of 2 personally uh, meanwhile objectively again I'm gonna put it at an 8.1 because with this song honestly I have no idea what most people will think it's I guess it's gonna be something similar to how I feel like I'm confused how I feel about it I like is the instrumental of it and I like how hard hitting it is but I don't think it really delivers on that so yeah because of that it's gonna be on both 8.1 out of 10 because it is definitely a quality song but it could have been so much better like this one had the potential has the potential to be a 10 out of 10 but it didn't really deliver but still we have one more song to check out that being a uh, shower of rain which I assume is going to be a more slower ballad song so let's get into it in three Two, one. Again, similar, similar to uh, one other song from the album. It gives me some 2016, 2017 vibes, and I like that. That's a, personally my favorite era of K-pop, and it's actually when I got into K-pop. Okay, I guess it wasn't as slow as I thought. I'm sorry, I, I, I kind of spaced out for a second, so I wasn't paying attention. I actually like what the, this song is going for. It feels like a sad ending kind of song. Like, it makes me feel sad about things ending. I like that feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, even the lyrics kind of talk about that. Sorry I'm not talking during the first one, but I'm gonna talk more on, uh, during the second reaction Because now I'm kind of focusing on the song I'd imagine that they would uh, sing this song at an end of a concert, like it's that kind of song. There isn't that much to uh, pick at, neither instrumental wise or singing or rapping wise. It kind of feels like, I think out of all the songs on this album, I feel like this one is kind of the most complete one. So... Yeah, I guess uh, let's get it back into it uh, one more time in three, two, one.
it's definitely giving me a huge 27, early 2017 vibes. It's a really catchy song, I like it. It's definitely in my top 3 of this album. What? Which I think the songs that I really liked are The Black Hole... Uh, no, I don't know. I have a terrible memory. I think the songs I liked are Die For You, The Black Hole, Worship You, Zoom Up and this one. But this one is definitely in top 3. And it feels the most complete. Like, it feels like a perfect song. I think this one is going to be the one that I'm gonna be listening to the most. Like, in, in certain ways, it feels like the perfect B-side. I like it. And the chorus is really catchy. Sorry I'm not talking but there isn't anything to talk about right now, I'm kind of just listening to it right now. That was the most random inclusion of the name Matilda ever. Okay, that was honestly a great way to end uh, this reaction to the album because honestly this might be the best song out of all of them. It definitely feels like the most complete one and perfect one. There isn't anything I can complain about or criticize or say that it could have been done better. Like I enjoy this song through and through the way it is, which is why personally it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. Like I really like this one. The chorus is catchy. Like as I said, it's kind of the perfect B-side because it doesn't feel like a title track. It feels like a B-side, but it feels like a really, really good B-side. Like, as I said, perfect B-side. I don't know how else to put it. So yeah, uh, objectively, again, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it is a really good one. It's kind of interesting how, um, so far, out of the, all the comebacks, I'd say the album ones, like Dreamcatchers, BTSs, and this one have kind of been the best. Like, even though personally BTSs album, I don't really like what they're, what kind of music they're doing with the album. It is still a really good album and kind of better than uh, their EP. With Dreamcatchers album, I, out of these three, it's definitely my favorite. It has the coolest uh, songs and definitely uh, the most unique for them like I'm it's interesting how the album ones are the ones who have good songs because the EPs that I checked out don't necessarily have bad songs but I don't think they were as good but that may be just the amount of songs I'm reacting to me maybe the reason why I feel like that so yeah 
I don't know. But I really enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed and uh, reacting to Pentagon's album. And if you guys have any songs you want me to react to, whether it's gonna be Pentagon songs or any other K-pop songs, make sure to comment them down below and I'm gonna add them to my list. Though I don't wanna promise when I'm going to react to it because I have a huge list. And with the amount of comebacks we've had in the past month, I'm kind of overwhelmed with the amount of uh, albums and EPs that I want to check out because I've decided that I'm going to be checking out EPs in addition to title tracks because that's kind of more fun and it's more content for my channel so hell yeah also that way uh, it's easier for me to find uh, more songs from the groups I like that I like because otherwise I don't really listen to b-sides but now that I'm doing these uh, reactions to b-sides uh, of the releases I've actually found quite a few songs that I like, like if I wasn't reacting to Dreamcatcher's album I wouldn't have found out so many of the songs being so good. And same from this one, I've definitely listened to at least one or two songs frequently, the rest maybe once in a while, but yeah, I think that's it, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe, also check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And also, in addition to being a writer, I pretty frequently review movies, uh, TV shows I'm following, video games that I'm playing, animes that I'm watching or I have watched, like anything like that I tend uh, to review pretty frequently. And also from time to time I'm going to be doing some uh, K-pop related posts. So if you're interested, go and check out my blog, again the link is the, in the description. Go over there and follow or subscribe or whatever you're supposed to do to a blog because I'm not really versed in the vocabulary with blogs. And if you end up enjoying my reviews or and posts in general, um, my stories or simply my videos, uh, you can go over on Patreon or subscribe star where you can pledge support and help uh, support me so I can keep uh, doing these videos, keep writing the stories and keep reviewing all the things uh, you might enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out by liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!